seriously, your cheese contains a prescription medication. Stick around and I'll tell you why. You went out there buying these pre-shredded cheeses. Be very careful when you turn around when you look at the ingredients. It has sharp cheddar cheese, cultured milk, salt enzymes, anato color, potato starch added to prevent caking, niatomycin. That's the key word, niatomycin. So let's take a look at our pharmacy book, niatomycin. Antifungal in our food. All right, so these are the actions and therapeutic effect. Mechanism of action is by binding to sterols in the fungal cell membrane resulting in cell death of fungi. Effective against many yeast and flamantose fungi, including candida. And you see all this other stuff right here. Uses ocular fungal infections in our food. So this ingredient will actually be found in many pre-sliced cheeses and um, it's used for fungus. But keep in mind that this is used for eye fungal infections and it has a lot of precautions to this particular nidomycin. And some of the adverse um, reactions is um, blurred vision, dizziness, and along with other things, but tell me why we're, we have a prescription medication in our food. Now you tell me why something we need a written out prescription from a doctor from is so easily accessible through our food. Okay, now people put this stuff on pizza, so you're using a significant amount. Say for instance, they say, oh, it's just a little bit amount on it. Um, it doesn't matter because who uses a serving size? Often used on pizzas a lot. And we have side effects such as blurred vision, photophobia, which is, I guess, sensitivity to light and other things. But this is an antifungal medication in our cheese. So everyone, uh, some cheeses that we suggest are the sliced cheeses that you get, organic of course, and they will not contain any of that other scary stuff. Um, also, it's best to shred your own cheese as well. Um, buy the block cheeses and just shred your own. Um, you That way you will avoid all of the prescription medications that they put in the other cheeses. And of course, vegetarian enzymes to make it actually halal for those who can't eat the enzymes that are made with um, with meat and whatnot. Sliced cheeses is recommended always. Again here, um, you will not find any of that other stuff of niamidicin. So just be careful guys, look at your labels and watch out for things of this nature. Okay, because it is very dangerous and we eat, like I said, we eat a lot of this stuff. We generally, when people do eat these types of cheeses, pre shredded cheese, just shred your own. Just shred your own and hopefully happy health and happy day everyone.